Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to uh, get your MSL number on your Android phone. Uh, in my case, I have an Epic Touch 4G, but it, this should work on any Android device. Uh, what you need to do is go to the market and download an app called Terminal Emulator. So Terminal Space should pop up, I guess not. Emulator and then search. So search for a terminal emulator. Uh, get the ones called Android Terminal Emulator by Jack Palovich. It's the one I use. And go ahead and install it, accept and download it. Uh, what an MSL number is doing is going to do is uh, it's used on some carriers to uh, uh, an MSL number is used to keep you from getting into your phone's configuration settings. So this will allow you to access some more configuration settings and allow you to tweak some things. So go to Terminal Emulator. So once you're in Terminal Emulator, um, right now I have the Gingerbread keyboard I'm using. You cannot use Swipe for this because it automatically capitalizes something and you can't change it for some reason. So make sure you don't use Swipe when you're uh, using Terminal Emulator. I'm not too sure if Samsung keypad works, but you're going to need to make sure it's all in the same format capital-wise. So what you're going to need to type is get get P R O P get prop without a space and then hit space. So get prop R I L uh, and then dot M cap capital M S L. So get prop R I L dot M S. -L. So get prop space R I L dot M S L and then just hit enter. So hit enter once that once that's done. And what that's going to do is give you a six-digit number, and that's going to tell you your MSL number. I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys it, just because um, I think it's sensitive. I'm not positive if, if it's sensitive or not, but I went ahead and exited out of the terminal emulator. Um, but as that, that'll just give you your six-digit MSL number, and that way you can go when you go into settings, you'll know your MSL number to access those settings. But uh, if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video. I'll post a link to that uh, code you're going to need to type in as well, so you guys know how to do that. Um, but feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video.